Hi, this is Dave Barnett with our June 2014 video blog. Today we're going to talk about the FL1 standard and ratings for flashlights. If you've been shopping for flashlights recently, you may have noticed icons on the packaging that are consistent from manufacturer to manufacturer. And these are all based on the FL1 standard. And there's various different metrics that may be noted on various flashlights and you'll see that consistent format. Today we want to talk about the two that are generally most interesting to flashlight consumers. That is lumen output and runtime. And while this may seem very straightforward, without an understanding of the FL1 standard, those ratings may not be what you think they mean. As an example, this is an LZ Charlie flashlight with a high output AVS head. It's rated at 900 lumens with a runtime of 1 hour 45 minutes. Have also a flashlight from a different manufacturer. This flashlight is rated at a thousand lumens with a runtime of two hours and 15 minutes. Well, you might say, wow, that has more output for a longer time. And if you said that, you'd be greatly mistaken. And the reason why is how the FL1 defines both output and runtime. Now, output is simply defined as the amount of lumens produced after 30 seconds of operation. In other words, with a fresh set of batteries, the flashlight is turned on and at, after 30 seconds that lumen output is measured. Now, if you have any questions about lumens, I suggest you go back and look at our last video blog which was all about lumens. So again, back to the test, at 30 seconds it measures the lumen output. Then the flashlight is allowed to continue operation and after the output drops to just 10 percent of that rated value, the runtime is measured. Now, with those definitions, you might be thinking it would be really easy for a flashlight manufacturer to manipulate that standard to have seemingly really good metrics or measurements on their packaging, but the flashlight wouldn't perform near at what the customer might expect. And indeed, that's very true. Take a look at this graph. Now, this graph shows a flashlight, a theoretical flashlight in this case, that would be rated at 1,000 lumens with a runtime of three hours. Sounds spectacular. But notice the output curve. It produces 1,000 lumens up to the 30-second point. Now, at 30 seconds is where that official lumen metric is going to be taken. After 30 seconds, it immediately drops all the way to an output of merely 101 lumens, still above 10%, but far below 1,000. It coasts along at a mere 101 lumens until three hours. It finally drops below 10% or merely 100 lumens, and then the runtime metric is taken. So again, the rating, 1,000 lumens, the runtime, three hours, sounds impressive, but if you think you're getting 1,000 lumens for three hours, you're greatly mistaken. Now, you might think, okay, in theory, sure, a manufacturer could do that. But would any reputable manufacturer really do something like that? Well, take a look at this graph. This graph shows a comparison between the LZ Charlie and that Brand X flashlight I showed you earlier. Now remember the Brand X was rated at 1,000 lumens for 2 hours and 15 minutes. Notice there on the red line that it indeed it starts well above 1,000 lumens. And at 30 seconds, indeed, it gets 1,000 lumens. That is where the Measurement is taken for the lumen rating, 30 seconds. But notice it immediately falls to below 70% of that initial rating and goes at a very low output, well below 700 lumens, for a very long time before finally dying off below 10% of the 1,000 or 100 lumens. Now look at the gold line, which represents the LZ of Charlie. Notice that it starts well above its 900 lumens where it's rated. And not only that, it maintains an output of more than its rating of 900 lumens for nearly an hour before its gradual decline and it passes below the 90 lumens at an hour and 45 minutes. You also notice that the LZ with its consistent performance and its greater efficiency gives the consumer much closer to what they're expecting when they read the package much more of what they need when they need a flashlight to maintain a high output, but yet when you compare the packaging, it appears that it has less output for less runtime. Now this was just a very brief explanation of the FL1 standard, but hopefully you got a sense of how easy it is to manipulate it and how it's very different than what it might appear. Again, a thousand lumens, runtime, 
two hours, 15 minutes does not mean you're getting 1,000 lumens for two hours and 15 minutes. Now, when you compare packages, there's unfortunately no way to get an apples to apples comparison. Even though the icons might be the same, they're measured by the same standard, because of how the standard is written, you cannot get an apples to apples comparison unless you see an output graph like the ones I just showed you. Unfortunately, manufacturers generally don't supply such information. But as always, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is.